really great program. We have a lot of diverse faculty in different fields. We have morphology, behavior, archaeology. There's a lot of opportunities at Stony Brook. You can go abroad to Turkana Basin, you can go abroad to Madagascar, you can go a lot of different places and there's a lot of opportunities to work with professors, to work in labs, and those opportunities get you to other places. Like I went to work with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute and one of the reasons I got the REU I did was because I had field experience in Madagascar and because I had some experience working with professors at Stony Brook. So for my senior thesis, I am studying gelata monkeys, which are primates, not a frozen dessert. And I am looking at how gelatas have this thing called a matrilineal hierarchy. So the mothers have different ranks in the social system, and in a lot of juvenile, or a lot of monkeys, the mothers will pass on their ranks to their infants. So juveniles in some species will have a lot of power, even though they're basically babies still, because their mothers have a high rank. And we want to know if that's true in gelatas, because it's a lot like kids on a playground. If you have a really powerful parent, one kid can make all the other kids do what they want to do, and it doesn't matter how small they are. And in other monkeys, it doesn't matter. It's basically based on the size and the spunk of the kid involved. <laughs> And that's to say, we want to know in juveniles, in gelatas, if they do inherit their mother's rank and how old they are when they do. So Lynn and I have been working um, for about um, six months now on this project. Um, I first met Lynn when she was interning for me uh, last year. And Lynn is just one of those special students. I mean, she, you know, she shows up and she surprises you with the amount um, of work she can do and, and the, the knowledge she has. and her statistical stills are staggering for an undergrad. And, um, you know, I was just so impressed by her that I took her on as um, a senior thesis student. Um, and, you know, we work together every week. We meet every week to talk about, you know, her progress. And um, her data is really interesting because it comes from this long term population of primates out in the wild. Um, the geladas live in Ethiopia. You know, we've collected about 10 years of data from them. And so she's looking at this. And I think moving forward, she wants to compare this with other primates. And so, for instance, there's this another population of primates that we have data from where the moms have very different dominance hierarchies. So, moms actually don't pass on their ranks. They, um, they struggle for their social ranks individually, kind of like humans do, you know, kind of like you work hard and maybe you move up in the social hierarchy, right? So there's not really inheritance involved. So in those types of monkeys, you don't see this type of rank inheritance because um, their moms are not necessarily in the groups that they are in as adults because they, they move along to new groups. And so we're, we want to compare and contrast these two systems um, to see, you know, what are the sort of livelihoods of juveniles in different types of primate social systems. And I really look forward to, you know, seeing what Lynn comes up with.